2016, Acura gave us a precision concept that detailed the design language for the next six years or so for Acura. And now we fast forward to 2022, and what I have behind me is their new vision. This is the precision EV concept, and the EV future for Acura is looking pretty good. <laughs> So the most striking thing about this vehicle when you first see it are the dimensions. And I'll get into the details on the front end. When I first saw this in pictures and in video, the depth that we see on these lines that start on the hood, that go in the back, then this, this curve that starts behind the wheel and goes down the side of the vehicle. In person, there's a lot more depth and makes this vehicle much more beautiful. They, they designed this concept after Italian power boats. So, I'm starting to see that more in person than I was in the videos and pictures, and it's a gorgeous looking vehicle. What about this paint color? It's a double apex blue matte color, and I hope it makes it to the production version or the production variants of, of their EV vehicles in the future now. What's cool, not only is we have an illuminated Acura logo, but there's a sequence that starts with the lights of the Diamond Pentagon Grill and it flows out to the right and to the left of the badge into the daytime running lights, these chicane daytime running lights, which have a very cool 3D effect to them. Going down here is this particle glitch. It's almost like the replacement of fog lights. It's like the future of fog lights. It's incredible, uh, not only here, but we have it on the back of the vehicle and then the wheels will show you in a little bit. The, down here at the bottom, this looks very powerboat-ish. I'll just say that. It's super aerodynamic, very smooth all the way around. Now, we also have kind of like this tri-tone tri going on. I mentioned uh, the matte blue paint color, but at the very bottom we have that silver finish, black around the wheels, and then we also have that black rooftop that goes all the way back. Um, and then I would assume in the production variants of, of their uh, EVs in the future, of course, we're gonna have big pan or roofs as well. I like how the silver trim does break up that floating roof line very, very well, um, and just makes it really look really sleek. We don't have mirrors here. Now, expect when, when production models come out of Acura's uh, first ever EV in 2024, of course, I'll have side mirrors, but it's a possibility in the future for us to have digital side mirrors um, as we go forward. The rules will change here in the United States to allow for that, I'm assuming. Now we have 23 inch wheels and these things are absolutely massive. Not only that, check out these yellow brake calipers on these massive discs. Now we have that particle glitch design inside of these 23 inch wheels look absolutely stunning. Step back so you can see the side profile of this vehicle and the dimensions are kind of hard for me to nail down. We have a really long hood. It's, it feels a little bit MDX like, but maybe a tiny bit shorter, which will help with aerodynamics, right? So I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see uh, a third row at some point in the future for an Acura EV. And you can see the Acura design back here. And something that it was hard to tell in the pictures, but we have a lot of motion going on with this silver trim here at the bottom as well. And coming around the back, we have a continuation of those chicane lights, more of that 3D effect as well there. And as we go down to the bottom, a continuation of that particle glitch, not quite as luminous as the front end, but we still have the continuation here on the back. Pretty cool, you can see it turn off, it's kind of like this, uh, and then come back on. Now, just like the front, we have the illuminated Acura logo on the back, and then we have these really long continuation of those chicane lights here on the back. Just like any EV, it's gonna be very smooth and resistant free at the bottom to allow the air to pass underneath so no exhaust tips or anything like that and one of the big surprises that i was not expecting at all is this unique third brake light here at the top it's almost like a, a katana slicing through the air on the very back of the vehicle looks really really cool now shortly after when Acura revealed this precision ev concept they revealed that the name for their first ever ev is going to be the ZDX. They're bringing back the ZDX nameplate for 2024, uh, and the vehicle will be built here in North America on uh, the co-platform with GM and uh, LG with Ultium. We have a good idea of what their first EV will be like based off the Cadillac Lyric already on the market right now. So I'll put some of those stats up there for you guys. Uh, and we also have a Type S coming for the first ever Acura EV. So Acura that performance division of Honda. Man, it's gonna be really excited to see how much the brand changes. And if the designs look like this, I'm really excited for Acura's EV future.